did in this problem and i don't want you to do the same mistake so let's see the problem the problem is an integer has sequential digits okay if and only if the each digit in the number is one more than the previous digit now return a record return a sorted list of all the integers in the range of low high inclusive that they have like inclusive that have sequential digits now when i read the problem i read as an integer has sequential digits if and only if each digit in the number is one or more than the previous digit is one or more than the previous digit now i just simply while reading added a or in this statement and that's how i thought oh great it's a question of digit db i'll simply apply and if you have not known or watched digit dp just go and write on youtube uh digit dp by r Mittal. you will get the videos many videos are there uh, many live contest discussions we have done on top of it but yeah i just started thinking okay it's a simple digit dp problem but then when i saw the first example i was like okay yeah, it's a small example maybe it is the only valid example so i thought okay i validated myself that it is the only valid example which i can think of I did not even think that okay even 124 125 could also have been an answer if this or condition was there so I went ahead and I didn't realize that I didn't consider that example also and I started coding then I realized at one point ah I'm getting the wrong answer why then I came back and then I realized oh they asked for only again only one more than the previous digit so if I am writing a 1, I will have to have to write a 2 next. I cannot write a 3. I cannot write a 4. After 1, 2 will come. After 2, only 3 will come. And same way. If I start with a 2, after 2, only 3 will come. After 3, only 4 will come. So that is how the problem needs to generate. So for sure. And they just want how many number of such numbers will be formed. So we know one thing that can't... Low and high is just saying, okay, in this range, how many numbers are forming? I'll do one thing. I know that numbers will be sequential and I also know the constraints. It will be at least two digits for us. So I will have at least two digits. One and then something else. Again, like it can be two something else, three something else. Anyhow, but it can be three digits. So I can say one thing. I can try for all, let's say for length of two. I know length of two can be there. Right. I can try for 12, I can try for 23, I can try for 34, I can try for 45, I can try for 56, I can try for 67, I can try for 78, I can try for 89. This will be a length 2 which will be used or formed. Okay, let's say for other length we'll try, I'll, I'll next try, I'll try for length 3. Let, as you can see, 1, 2, 3 was this length 3 which they have tried. Right. And then I'll try for next length. Again, I'm just trying for all the lengths. All the lengths I'm trying for. Okay, I'm trying for length 2, then I'll try for length 3, length 4, length 5, length 6, length 7, length 8, length 9 at max. Because you can, you can see length 9 is this only leap. But uh, it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So you can just try for all the possible lengths which you can have in this question. So you will try for length 3, length 3, length 3, length 3 and length 3. So it is just that Rn, but it is seems like it's O of n square. But yeah, it's O of n square, which means you will try for all the possible lengths. And in each length, you will try for all the possible lengths. Okay, length 2, length 3. And on each length, you will have to go on to that specific string. So length, let's say Rn, n, let's say in worst case, take as 10. But here it is 8. Okay, like length is 9 in the worst case. But no worries. Uh, so we can have a 9. Or we can take a length of 8 also because you are starting from 2. So, okay, length is... We have eight different lengths. Then for each length, I will go on to this entire string. So take it as eight as also in the worst case. Then you know, okay, it's just O of 64, which is actually constant. And that's how it is so simple problem that we'll try for all the possible lengths. And for each possible length, I will just check, get this string out. Again, getting the string is nothing but a substring from the start index from the start index start idx of the specific length which was 3 in this case now when i have got this string a substring out i'll convert this substring to an integer which is 123 then i'll compare with my low and high values 
which I'm got from the input. If it is greater than or equal to my low and less than or equal to my high, only then it is a valid sequential digit. And that's how I can simply push push this push this, push this integer in my vector and simply get the answer. So the code is also very simple. Like I didn't imagine how simple this problem could have been because of just misreading and not thinking or going to the because oh proper belief it's a digit dp my mind was saying it's a digit it's a digit dp but then um it's just it's it's very important so like what we learned from this problem is it's very important to read the problem carefully now simple i just made the input string as i showed you in the beginning then i tried for all the possible lengths starting from the length two because i know for sure that my input itself again you can start off with the length one also but my input says that my length two is the minimum possible length then i tried for all the possible lengths because of this input length and then try for all the possible lengths for each length i will start off from the index start index beginning with a zero start index is less than or equal to start index minus length just to showcase that okay if i have one two three four five six uh seven eight nine and if i do an indexing of them as a zero one two three four five six seven and eight and if i say my current length is let's say five and i know my n is nothing but my nine so i can easily say that nine nine minus five nine minus five will be a four so this will be the last index at which i can have a length of five as you can see after this index i can never have a length of five so as to showcase okay the start the sorry the n minus start index start index is the is the last index to get to which you can actually go and have the last string possible so i'll go on from the start index up till the n minus start index so i go on from start index up till the n minus this current length sorry this is the current length which i had taken this is the current length which i had taken and thus i'll go up to this specific length for my start index and then when i have my index when i have my when I, when I have my start index when i have the length length is fixed which is of this specific length length i'll take this specific substring and convert this to an integer which is five six seven eight nine and convert it to an integer also it's very simple because the input itself says that your all the values will be under one e nine if let's say r it would have been one e eighteen which means if it would have been high which means one e eighteen then i would have used long long which means here you can see i used string okay firstly i got this substring which is s dot substring like which is a temporary substring for me then i converted this string to my temp string to a possibility which is the integer so i i use a string to integer which means converting my string to integer but are in what if it would have been a 1 e 18 then i would have used my string to long long but if, if it would have been more than 1 e 18 let's say uh, it would have been 1 e 50 or something like that then i would have to use a digit tp cool now coming on back so again this constraint again when i read i just was properly sure okay it's a problem but i didn't thought of okay it's a medium problem medium problems are never a digit dp that i should have also thought of and especially that it's also a hint in an interview let's say okay the interview is for a not a very flagship company or very company which asks the hard question then for sure you can also predict okay he or she might not ask a question of digit dp that's it cool now uh, when i have converted this possibility i'll check this possibility if it is more than equal to my low and less than equal to my high then i can simply say it is a possible possible answer simply push back that in my answer vector and simply return that answer vector so the time complexity is nothing but o of 8 into 8 which is o of 64 which is nothing but o of 1 complexity space is also o of 1 thus in total we have o of 1 time and space again uh, there are other ways also to, to solve it but all of them round back to o of one time complexity itself but this is the best way i could uh like this is the most optimal i think like not, like not the most optimal, like, but the most intuitive way because all of them are actually o of one but it's the most intuitive way which you can actually think of and start doing this problem cool thanks for watching please go back to